Um, initially, the call came out as an elderly female with an eye for the Boys and Girls Club in Chatsworth. Um, officers responded to the call. Uh, I heard the nature of the call and I responded as well. Uh, upon arrival, uh, we located a female, uh, elderly woman, ended up being 87 years old. Of course, we didn't know the age at the time. She had, did have a knife in the back side of the property. Uh, we were able to contain her to a, back, to a back area and she was in an elevated position above both myself and the other officer that was there on scene. Uh, she did have a knife in her right hand. We began trying to communicate with her, uh, telling her, of course, to drop the knife, put the knife down. If, didn't know if she just didn't understand us or just uh, was having some type of, of issue and, and unable to understand us at the time. So I, I pulled my knife out myself and I held it up and said, knife, and then actually said, put it down and threw it down on the ground, trying to make her understand that she could not have the knife out. She began walking towards the officer then, uh, after the multiple commands. He told her to stop uh, several times. She continued walking, at which time he deployed a taser. I feel like everything was handled by the protocol. Of course, we will still be reviewing this, we'll review it to see if there's anything we could have done differently, anything we could have done, done better. But given the situation that the officer was put in, he didn't ask to be put in, but he was put in that situation. Uh, you have a person walking towards you with a knife, you're giving them commands to stop. Um, and he used the taser to deploy the taser rather than using deadly force to stop the situation. The, the question is always going to be why he, did he not retreat? Um, and then the thought behind that would be if the officer would have retreated with her being on an elevated position, he could have easily fell down, at which time she would still been progressing on top of him and deadly force could have been used at that point in time. And that was the whole goal was to try to avoid uh, using any type of force. But if we have to use force, use the minimum force. No one wants to. No one wants it to go to that point. No one wants to tase, you know, anyone, much less an 87-year-old woman. Um, but then again, what do we do? Do it? Do we try to go hands-on, at which time she could have been hurt just as easily, or even fell on the knife herself? Or, you know, Lord help us, you know, I tried to stop the officer and held the knife in an aggressive manner, and then deadly force being used. Um, it was just extremely unfortunate. No one wanted this to happen. But unfortunately, it was the hand we were dealt. We had to do the best we could.